My name is Andrea and today I'm going to show you how to paint Frankenstein on all black slip-on bands. So let's get into it. The first step is taping. I'm going to grab some tape and actually get all the lint off because I want a smooth canvas to start with. I'm also going to tape off the van tag. I don't want any paint to get on there. Okay, now that our shoe is taped off, we are ready to start with our first coat. So for the first part, what I like to do is instead of using the white, I, I like using the cream and I mix it with Too Soft. So it's a 50-50 ratio. So I feel like when you put the cream first, you get a solid base. And once you have a pretty good coat, maybe about two coats, then I go on with the white and I feel like the white gets a little brighter it picks up the color a lot more than when I just go straight with the white so that's one thing that I found by painting these shoes especially with the black fabric it makes it a lot easier to get them a good solid white and it's going to need probably about five coats I would say the first three will be with the cream and the next two will be with the white. So I'm done with my first coat. As you can see, it still looks kind of blotchy, um, but I need a couple more coats. So I'm going to set it with the heat gun. Once it's dry, I apply my second coat. Okay, so now for the last two coats, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna mix the flat white with Too Soft. And by adding the Too Soft, I found that the shoe is much more flexible. It doesn't turn stiff once the paint dries. And by having it be soft and flexible, that's what prevents it from kind of cracking. Okay, so I did um, the last coat. I'm gonna heat set it, and once we're done with that, we could start sketching our design on the shoe. So now, I'm gonna start with the background. For the background, I will be doing it red and adding some darker shading. So I'll be adding the shading with the flat black. So right now, I'm just gonna go in with the red. And then when I do the second coat, that's when I'm gonna start doing the shading. When I'm adding my shading, I like to go between brushes because I usually use one brush for the darker tones and the other brush for the lighter tones and then I kind of just blend it together. Now, I kind of work a little fast for this part because if you don't work fast, they will dry out and it won't work out. But if you work fast enough, it should be pretty good. So for the shading, it since I want it to look kind of grungy. It does not have to be perfect. I don't want to add too much black because it will overpower it. For Frankenstein's face, I'm going to be using green and yellow. I will be mixing them together 
Certain parts of his face are a little darker, so I'll just be going in with a solid green. And some areas are even lighter, so I will actually be mixing in a little bit of white to get all the shading done. The reason I like to draw with Sharpie is because it, you notice that just with one coat I could still see the Sharpie so I could still use that as a guideline as to where I should add my shading. So as you can see I added the highlight in the middle, a little bit of white with the green that I mixed. And for the corners, I just added a tiny little bit of taupe and then I put the green that I mixed on top to diffuse it out. And it starts giving me like a highlight effect in the forehead. So I'm actually gonna add the black right now and then I'm gonna go back to the shading. So right now I feel like there should be like a little bit more light right here, so I'll just add some white and yellow, kind of blend it through. If that's too much, just wipe it off. Just go back with the black and shade around it a little more. Okay, so now that I'm done with the face, I'm gonna work on the bolts and then I'm gonna go over and start the jacket. So for the bolts, I'll be using light gray and I will be mixing a little bit of black just to add some shading to it. To shade it around kind of make it lighter in the middle darker in the edges and then I'll go back and kind of trace it but I'm gonna add the brown and mix a little bit of black for the jacket now done so I'm going to start taking the tape off and if I notice that I need to add any color to spots I might have missed I, I'll do that right now so now that I noticed that um, I need to get some of the glue off and I also noticed some tiny little spots so I'll be using this spot remover with the q-tip just to take all those little things off Okay, so now that it's fully dry, I'm going to add my matte acrylic finisher. I like to apply the finisher with a brush and just brush it all over and let it set. I had a great time working on these shoes. If you guys liked what you watched, make sure to give us a thumbs up and subscribe. If you guys have any questions or comments, let us know and thank you for watching.